Was this high a death toll inevitable? Oh, absolutely not. It was not inevitable. A lot of this is a result of the way we responded uh, to it and the lack of a coordinated response during the Trump administration, uh, the inability of states uh, and the government officials to understand the magnitude of the problem and in it institute the right uh, protections. Remember, the CDC delayed issuing a mask uh, suggestion and order. Uh, we had keeping restaurants and indoor dining open, uh, not uh, fully putting in place other uh, safety measures. Um, and I, I think, uh, you know, when you compare the United States to other countries, we did much worse. We have 4% of the world's population and 20% of all the COVID deaths. And that tells you a lot. That's Zeke Emanuel. And what he's saying is just not true. Again, we sit here and have the not true. Compare us to, what, compare us to European countries. Which ones? UK, we did better per capita. Italy, better. Spain, better. Germany, a little better than us. Fine. Okay. Congratulations, Germany. Belgium, far worse. Brazil, worse per capita. 250,000 deaths in Brazil. By the way, do you think that Brazil has had the same kind of widespread testing and also has caught as many of the deaths from this? I mean, these, a lot of people die from what looks like they're elderly people dying from pneumonia. So if you're not testing them for COVID and you don't know, you're not catching the same number of those cases. So it's just not true. Does anyone care? No, it's all Trump's fault. That, that We knew all along. this. The game was, say Biden's going to save us. Biden gets into office on the promise that he's going to save us from this. We all realize Biden's a an incompetent buffoon who even Democrats thought was a jackass until about five minutes ago, and he's not going to save us. Oh, it was all Trump's fault. Oh, OK. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we've uh, we've established that. Here's Biden blaming his predecessor. Play eight. Just over four weeks ago, America had no real plan to vaccinate most of the country. My predecessor, as my mother would say, God love him, failed to order enough vaccines, failed to mobilize the effort to administer the shots fail to set up vaccine centers. That changed the moment we took office. I directed Jeff Science, my COVID-19 response coordinator, to lead my administration's work with the vaccine manufacturers to buy more vaccines and to speed up delivery. Albert referenced it earlier, and I want to thank him for making it happen because we work together. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for all Americans by the end of July. That doesn't mean it'll be in all Americans' arms, but enough vaccine will be available by that time these orders allow facilities like this one to plan ahead accelerate the production schedule i mean how many infections will this country have gone through by july i mean actual infections of covid do we think we've gone through by july how many people are actually going to get vaccinated by july versus how many will have already been infected as a percentage of how we get to herd immunity wouldn't that be interesting to look at that data Here's what I well, here's what's going to happen right now. They're talking about how they have a plan to vaccinate so many people. I, I think there's a there have been a, a large number of people in the military, for example, who are young, healthy. They're just like, no, nah, I don't want to get vaccinated. Wow. Yeah. Because They're like, well, why? Why should I? I'll avoid I'll avoid being around senior citizens. Why should I have to be vaccinated? And senior citizens should all be getting vaccinated based on the the, the, the timeline that Biden's rolled out by a certain date. So. Why are we forcing? We're going to force kids to get this vaccine now, too. That's the plan. Yeah, here's a here's a prediction for you. Uh, there will be tens of millions, if not in the hundred million plus range, but tens of millions of doses of vaccine in July and August just sitting around. Just remember, I said this to you. Right now, Biden's all, oh, I ordered, you know, I ordered the vaccine, and you know, we're going to get it all to everybody. My predecessor, it was all his fault. Everything's his fault. You know, Biden's an idiot, folks. He's an idiot. You know, I don't know what else to say. This guy's a class, the classic, unctuous politician. But you know, my predecessor didn't order. Just remember I told you this. And, and also, I'm going to tell you two things. There are going to be tens of millions of unused vaccines. And when I say unused, I don't mean there's people lining up. I'm saying they're like, oh, what do we do with all this vaccine now? By July, there's going to be millions and millions of unused vaccine doses that no one seems to really want. And 
Cases will drop to a tiny level, and they won't want the new cases, and they won't want to restore full normalcy because they want us to keep complying through the winter of 2021. You watch. Remember I said this. Take me up on this recommendation. Go to doneforyoubuck.com where you can learn more about my friends at Done For You Real Estate. If you haven't checked them out yet, let me make this easy for you. These guys have found a way to make real estate investing easy and their system flat out works. It allows everyday hardworking Americans to finally own investment real estate without all the risk and difficulty of doing it on your own. I can't possibly tell you in strong enough terms during this quick 60 second commercial how important it is that you check these guys out. So how about this? If you visit doneforyoubuck.com, at the top of the page is a podcast interview I did with Done For You Real Estate. You can hear my experience with their company in my own words and in detail. How we pick the city, how we pick the house, get the loan set up, close, get a renter in, all of that, step by step. Visit doneforyoubuck.com, listen to the podcast interview, and give my friends a chance to show you what they can do for you. That's doneforyoubuck.com. Learn about my real estate investment journey so you can start yours today at doneforyoubuck.com. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.